Hey everybody, it's Jen. Thank you so much for joining me today. Uh, this video is for Saturday Morning Makes. Hello to everybody, happy weekend. Today is June 11th and I haven't been on in a few weeks so I was uh, sure to make a couple of projects this week that I could uh, that I could share with you guys. So I'm looking forward to seeing what everybody else makes for hashtag Satmorn Makes. Hi Jill and everybody who's watching. Um, I have found this cute stamp on Frantic Stamper and as of right now it is still there. I think there are like three maybe on the site. So I'll link it down below in case you are interested. I know a lot of people have this stamp and it's from Impression Obsession. It's an Elisa Baker design and that is the number F20824. It's an adorable bunny and um, it makes the cutest projects I've seen like Jill and other people make projects with him and I probably never would have picked it up and unless I you know uh, if I hadn't had seen those projects so um, I did and that's what the size of it is and I made a, a couple of really cute things that I want to share with you so let me just show you the things that I used to make the first project I use my memento tuxedo black to do the stamping I used this Impression Obsession stamp for the back, uh, actually the inside of my card. And this one is by Elisa Baker also. And it's A6067 Leaping Bunny. I don't know if that, if the uh, red rubber uh, cling stamp is on Frantic Stamper, but Frantic Stamper, by the way, has tons of Impression Obsession red rubber stamps still on their site. So make sure to check them out. Good prices. And if there's, uh, if there, if you're ever charged too much for shipping, Fran refunds you the difference. So that's always good. All right, I used some tea dye distress oxide. I used a little bit of my Jean Davenport palette in this one is called Birthday Suit. I gotten it on Amazon. I know it's discontinued now, but you still, you know, might be able to find it out there somewhere. I use this die, the largest one from Penny Black. I just got this recently, and this is called the uh, Zigzag die, I think. Zigzag Stackers. Love that set. Um, I used a little bit of this stamp set. This is from Jen Hadfield from the Homemade, well, I don't know, is that the Homemade Collection? No, My Bright Life Collection. And I got this at Tuesday morning a while ago. I used the Hello stamp in this project. Um, I use one of my new blending brushes from Amazon. I love these. They make a really nice even blend to your inks for large areas of projects. And I also use some Aralami Hashop paper, which I don't have right now, but it's, um, it's uh, a digital paper. So I will link it down below. Oh, and I used a button of this too. This is from the Paper Boutique and I used a blue heart button. So let me show you the project. This is a card that I made. Isn't that bunny sweet? So I paper pieced this, which is very easy to do. All you have to do is stamp it out twice or how many times, you know, how many different patterns you want. I stamped it out of this, well, I stamped it onto this ivory color paper and also this blue floral Aralami Hashop paper. So I did that and then fussy cut them both out and then just cut the little um, head right there on the blue paper and up here. So I just, um, you know, glued on the ears and the body. So I think it looks like he's in like a little sleeper. And then I added a little bit of gray alcohol markers on the sh shadow parts just to give it a little bit of depth. Here's where I use that Jane Davenport uh, palette to just give a little blush to his cheeks. And I did use the tea dye Distress Oxide to um, uh, just age the edges a little bit. Again, this is a Ralami Hotshot paper. This gingham paper, this comes from my favorite things. And there's that stamp I was telling you, or I showed you. I love that it has a period at the end. It's just, I don't know, makes it kind of charming. And there's that button, and I added some white or ivory pearl cotton through it, and then I tied a bow behind it and hot glued it on. And for the card base, I used just some tan paper that I had in my stash. Very simple card, but I think the patterns of paper are just lovely. So this is a A2 size card. Hope you guys like it. He fits perfectly on it this way, or you can turn him this way, but I did uh, horizontal, so I would have enough room for my banner. 
On the inside, I use that Penny Black stamp once again, or not stamp, die again. And this time I use Vintage Photo around the edges to distress it. And there's that little Leaping Bunny stamp. And I colored him with, I colored him in with some alcohol markers as well. So just to add to the little bunny theme. So bunnies, of course, you don't have to make just for Easter. I don't think this is an Easter card at all. I think it's just a cute little cozy, fun, pretty card. So I hope you like it. And yeah, that's my first project. Okay, the second one, I used the same bunny stamp from Elisa Baker. I also used um, this die. This is from Alina, Alina Crafts, but it's not available now. I did check, um, but you know, any tag die that you have would work. I used a little bit of this ribbon and this is like a sheer glittery ribbon I'd gotten on clearance at Hobby Lobby for 49 cents. I used one of these edge dies, uh, scallop stitches. I used the middle one or actually I think I used a bigger one and uh, yeah that's from Simon Says Stamp obviously. I used this stamp and cut set from Hero Arts. I think I got this at Joann's. I used the love uh, die. I didn't use the love stamp. And I did use the U as well. Um, I used Vintage Photo on this one. And the papers that I used, I used some of my favorite things, petite gingham paper. Um, I used green for this project. This I did get at Frantic Stamper. I don't know if she still has this, but um, I loved a small gingham paper. I used some paper from Everyday Life from Maha Design. I just hauled this yesterday, and this is from Frantic Stamper as well. Beautiful papers. I used a couple of these embossing folders from Cuddlebug, also from Frantic Stamper. And I did show you guys um, these uh, embossed yesterday in my haul. So I did use a couple of those that I had shown you. And last, I used some of this mirror card from Tonic. Uh, this is black velvet, so it's a nice matte black. So let me show you the tag that I made. And here it is. Ah, oh, isn't he cute? So this one I cut out twice of pattern paper. The flower papers from Maha Designs and then the gingham paper from MFT. And this one I uh, gave him like uh, I cut the feet off of the little sleeper, so it just looks like, you know, just a different kind of sleeper than the other one. Um, the background is the embossing folder for one of those, well, one of the embossing folders from this set. And uh, it's just really generic, and but it does add a nice texture. Love, I cut out of yellow cardstock and that black from Tonic Studios. And I like that the black gives it a nice shadow. And it also picks up on the black from the from the stamp of the bunny. And I also stamped you in um, Memento Tuxedo Black as well. And so the, uh, the scallop trim is from that Simon Says Stamp die. And I had cut the tag out of this like off-white paper as well, and then just put the edge across that and, uh, and cut it out. I inked the whole thing on the edges with vintage photo. I like that it highlights the embossing on the tag. I think that looks really cool. And of course, I love the stitching on this die and also on the scalloped part. I punched a hole with my crop dial and added a black eyelet. And here's that ribbon that I got from Hobby Lobby. The back is another one of the embossing folders. And this one is just the simple um, stripe one. So I thought that just added a nice touch to the back. You know, nothing fancy, but the focus, of course, is on the front. So um, I did use some of the blush again on the bunny, and I just think he's adorable. So those are my two projects. I love this bunny stamp. Thank you to Jill and everyone else who has shown projects with him. He's just super sweet, and I am really glad that I have him. It's fun to play with different um, papers, or of course you could just color it or paint it as well. You don't need to paper piece it. So those are my projects for this week's Saturday Morning Makes. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. I will leave Jill's link down below and um, also this stamp in case you're interested. All right, guys, I'll be back soon with more crafty videos. Take care, bye.